Hi, I'm Kat, also known as Damon Queen 89 and today I'm going to show you, in part one of this video, how to install a texture pack manually for pretty much any Unity game, but in this case, talking about salt. And, uh, how to install it manually. So, oh yeah, in part two of the video, uh, I will touch very briefly on making and installing your own textures like how to save it and stuff. So, first thing you do is uh, you open your downloads folder let me switch to modern view here. You open your downloads folder you know, you just downloaded Unity Assets Explorer, you drag that to your desktop, you just downloaded somebody's texture pack, you drag that to your desktop then you would you know, open the zip file and extract these two folders to the desktop, which I've already done here. And what you want to do is you open a Unity Assets Explorer and you go to Open Assets File up here and you want to navigate to your Salt Data folder. You do that by going to My Computer, C Drive, Program Files 86, scroll down to Steam, go to Steam Apps, Common, Salt, Salt Data. And now you're in the salt data folder where the shared assets files are. You're going to be focusing on shared assets 1 and shared assets 2. You can only open one of these files at a time, so you want to start with shared assets 1 or 2. Whatever works for you. So you open your shared assets folder on the desktop and the first one that comes up here is Cartoon Stone 2. So you type in the search box Cartoon and it like, came up immediately. You want to make sure it's the .txt file. So it would be cartoonstone2.txt and you want to make sure it's not a mat file because that's not what you want. You want the texture file. And you would import this file from DDS to install it. And save it. No, just it's the same one I got I think. Just double check. Yeah. So you import that from DDS. It'll say done. And you go to save assets files. And you open save assets file 1 first. Yep. So you save it as save assets file 1. And it won't save it right now because I have salt open. <laughs> but theoretically it would have saved. And you basically do that for all the other dot text files. Except uh, here I have like old files that I labeled with other extensions so if you wanted to you could replace it with the older texture that I did because I don't know you might think the other one is better than the other and I'm not even sure yet so some of those have that there's also these uh, other files here you're not really focused on them too much they're just there to let the tool know how to import the file again and that's basically it for installing textures manually, you do that a whole bunch of times. Same thing with Shared Assets 2. Shared Assets 2 just has a lot more textures in it. You'd open that and, and do the same thing. Uh, I think I pretty much uh, crashed the tool. Yeah. Derp. Invalid pointer operation. And yeah, don't do anything stupid like I just did. Cut process. And process. It crashes sometimes, but that's okay. Just <laughs> don't do anything weird like I'm doing. Um, I guess we're gonna briefly touch upon right how to uh, make and install your own textures. So I've just deleted all those files because they're not relevant anymore. Uh, if you're starting from scratch. You want to open the assets file like I showed you how. Uh, I guess shared assets too. Say you want to like retexture one of the trees. You could search tree and find tree. Find next. Apparently not. I guess it's under bark. Yeah. Uh, no. I didn't, like, factor in <laughs> my hotkeys. 
what I was typing. Alright. Uh, monitor view. Uh, that's the dot .mat file, you don't want that. So you basically find next until you get to the textures. And then you would extract this file. Done. Now this is a 256 by 256 resolution. You have to keep that resolution or it doesn't work. Uh, usually over here it says the uh, type of um, compression it has, but I think I fucked up the program again, so it's not telling me. But you go to Shared Assets too, that you just extracted to your desktop, and you open that in GIMP. Or whatever program you're using. Right now this is an already modified file because my assets files are already modified. Basically what you would do is go to... well, you do all your editing, whatever you want to do. To save it and export it, you go to export. And this window will pop up. And you make sure the file name's the same. And you click export. And replace. And here, since it doesn't have any transparency, it's going to be DT DXT1 compression. If it had transparency, it would be DXT5 compression. So this is DXT1. And you want to click Generate MIP Maps. And then OK. And then you've modified that file. So leaving that on your desktop, you would go back to Unity Assets Explorer and go back to Style A Spark Reddish and import this file from DDS. And it's done. And you save it in uh, Shared Assets 2. And that's basically how you do it. Although uh, Pilgrim's given us the go-ahead to... Uh <laughs> Pilgrim's given us the go-ahead to uh, d uh, distribute the Shared Assets file themselves so that you don't have to mess with the loose files unless you want to like mix and match your own texture pack or make your own textures. So that's pretty cool. Now we can get that uh, next mod page rolling and things are going to get really cool real fast. Uh, I bet Willie C is going to be really excited. So, <laughs> um, Yeah, I guess that's it. I got nothing else to say. Uh, follow me on YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch TV. Have a good one.